Here's a segment from a recent Gun Talk radio episode. You can listen to all the Gun Talk radio podcasts however you tune in, or check out guntalk.com for more. I'm a happy guy right now. Hey, by the way, welcome. We're talking about guns because it's Gun Talk, and we're doing this show a little bit in advance because we've got the SHOT Show coming up, and yeah, yeah I know. The Shooting Hunting Outdoor Trade Show, you know about it, 850,000 square feet or whatever it is, and just amazing stuff. So we pulled together some of our friends to talk about what they're going to be showing when they all get there, and also some of the things that have been out for a while, because remember, if it's been out for four or five months, it's still new to us. One of the companies that is really shaking things up, honestly, and has been for more than a decade now, is, and if you've been around a long time, you think of them as an old line company, and that's true, but it's a whole different company now, is Savage. Joining me to talk about that, R.J. Contero from Savage. R.J., welcome. Hi, good morning. Well, you know, when I look at Savage, I think about my first rifle way back when I was a teenager was a Savage 110 left-handed and 7 mag that I shot everything with and was happy with, and it was ugly as sin and worked like crazy, and, and even back then they were accurate, but this... Savage today is not that old company. Yeah, we're we're really reinvented ourselves over the last number of years with innovations and and whatnot. So we've had the AccuTrigger, which is actually 20 years old this year. Wow! Uh, so that's a big deal for us. Uh, the Accu stock, uh, you know, all these revolutionary things that have changed the the landscape of our product uh, have all been great advancements for us. Well, you know, it's interesting. Interesting. You start off with the the AccuTrigger. That changed the industry because until then, I mean, my standard joke was that gun companies, you know, along the assembly line, at the very last person on the assembly line was a lawyer who adjusted the trigger so it wouldn't go off at all. <laughs> uh, something like that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, all so, of a yeah. sudden you're making safe, good triggers that anybody can use. And honestly, I mean, you guys were the only ones doing that back then, and it has simply changed the industry. Yeah, it was really, you know, you didn't need to go to a gunsmith to to get a decent trigger at that point and, you know, adjust it yourself down to, you know, two and a half, one and a half pounds, depending on the trigger right. and still completely safe. So, uh, absolutely revolutionary and, you know, lots of other companies are doing similar, but, you know, ours is still, well, still and, out and, there. And the best. C- combine that with the fact that it's like people say, well, you know, if you want a, a good rifle that doesn't cost a whole lot and it's just spooky accurate, get a Savage because, you changed the landscape on that as well. You know, when people said, "Well, you know, to get a really accurate gun, you're going to be spending two grand to six grand," and they said, "Yeah, but or you could get a five hundred to six hundred dollar Savage that'll shoot just as well." I mean, that was revolutionary. Yeah, and that that just goes to our manufacturing processes of how the how the barrels are attached to the receivers, and then really the Accu stock, which is you know another giant leap of innovation for us, where we put that aluminum bedding block right into the the synthetic stocks that we make. Uh, it just takes the accuracy to a different level. I mean, and of course, now, let's just fast forward to where we are now. I go to your website, and I'm going, what is all this stuff? 1911s? Give me a break. Well, what is going on here? Yep, so that that's our kind of big news for 2023 is 1911s. So, uh, you know, Savage used to make handguns 100 years ago. A lot of folks don't realize that's that. That's true. What we know as the 1911 today, chose manufactured by Colt, beat the Savage 1907 out back in 1911 to be the, the military sidearm. So wow. Savage made a bunch of handguns back in the day. So we decided, you know, last year we came out with the stance. And so now we're expanding on our handgun selection and, you know, manufacture 1911s. Uh, they're, they're really nice guns. Um, all stainless steel construction. We do some mm-hmm. black nitrided options, um, forged slides, frames, uh, machine from billet barrels. All the small parts are fully machined too. So we're really oh. working with a high quality gun here. Uh, it's going to shoot really nice, feel really nice, uh, and it's solid in your hand. So we're uh, 45 auto, 9 millimeter, uh, just okay. the, the two initial. Uh, models that'll be out, or two calibers, I'll say that'll be out. 45 right. Auto, we're shipping now, and 9 millimeter, hopefully within a, a month or so. And it, it's actually a number of different models when you go to the website, and 
Yeah, I mean, you guys have done a bang-up job. These things look, they look good. You could just look at them and go, man, that's a nice pistol. Yeah, they're 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 very sleek looking. They they look like they're going fast. Um, you know, that's one of the <laughs> one of the things we were kind of going for. We we tried to make it a little bit put a little modern savage spin on the classic 1911. Um, so yeah, there are there's the traditional government style. Uh, no rail on the dust cover is one of the models. We'll have another model with the rail, mm-hmm. and then we get. Uh, mix the finishes a little bit. So we'll have all stainless steel, you know, so all the natural stainless finish, all black nitride finish, and then there's a two-tone. So it gets the the mix of the black nitride slide with the stainless, natural stainless receiver, and then some of the small parts are black. And And looking at the website, it looks like uh, MSRP is about 1,500 bucks on them. So this is not your entry level. This is more of a a mid to higher level, uh, I guess, if you will, your entry into this uh, 1911 world. Correct. We, you know, we, we knew where we wanted to go with it. Um, you know, we didn't want to play play low or whatnot. So right. that's one of one of the reasons we decided to go with, you know, all the machined small parts. You know, so slide stop, hammer, sear, disconnector, they're all fully machined. So this gun is designed to run and run hard uh, for lifetime. All right, so back up a little bit. I know it's old news to you, but to a lot of people, there's, they still have never even heard of the stance, and that's when Savage really got into the concealed carry market. Yeah, so 20, 2022, last year, uh, we debuted the stance. So it's a everyday carry, 9mm, uh, striker-fired, uh, micro-compact. So they're 7- mm-hmm. and 8-round mag capacity, ambidextrous. Uh, all ambidextrous controls. One of the things you'd mentioned, um, you know, left-hand guns. Uh, so all of our stance models have fully ambidextrous controls. There's no, you know, swapping the mag catch or whatnot. And that's been really positive for us. Everyone, you know, especially the left-hand shooters, know Savage is very left-hand friendly. Absolutely. So that's just something we've continued into the handgun market. Um, you know, so the, the stance has fully ambidextrous uh, slide stop magazine release, and manual safeties if it's equipped with the manual safeties. So it doesn't really make a difference if you're a left or right-hand shooter. Interesting. Uh, so that's been out for a year. And then yep. uh, as I'm looking, you know, all of a sudden, I mean, it's like, I know it's not all of a sudden for you guys, but for somebody that hadn't been paying attention, they're going, well, and you guys have shotguns too? That means Savage is a full-line gun company. Correct. That's, that, that's our goal. Um, you know, everyone used, we used to be known for fully just bolt action rifles right. and, you know, trying to, again, modernize and just be more of a, a well-rounded company, handguns and shotguns. Uh, a few years ago, we came out with the Renegade. Uh, so it's a completely USA made semi-automatic shotgun that we designed from the ground up. And <clears throat> it's won multiple awards from, you know, the various, um, magazines and, and outlets and whatnot for gun of the year, shotgun of the year and whatnot. And it was really, really does well for us. And then of course you got uh, pumps as well. Yep. We do in our Stevens line, we've got pumps over unders. Uh, we just launched a semi-auto in the Stevens line as well. Mm. Um, single shots. So our three Oh ones, we've been doing them for a number of years. And one of our best sellers are those. It's a, a 410 version that's a turkey model and you know with some of the advances in the ammo in particular the tss that tungsten super right. shot just allows turkey hunters to to downsize and use a 410 so you're not you know getting beat up on the shoulder and still being able to take your turkey at you know 40 50 60 yards with isn't, a 410. isn't that crazy yeah i mean folks years ago were you know you're pushing you know 40 50 yards with a 12 gauge and, and getting beat up with a three inch or three and a half inch shell and now folks are doing the same or more with a 410. I still think of Savage as primarily a bolt-action rifle company. Of course, that's where I came in many, many years ago. And that's not, I don't think it's unfair because you kind of almost have restructured or certainly shaken up that segment of the firearms market with everything from $500 rifles that shoot like a house of fire to seriously long-range guns, and now I'm looking at some really nice lightweight hunting rifles, right? Correct. So, you know, our still our core business is very much the bolt-action rifle. Um, 
no matter how you cut it. So we've got our Axis line, our Axis 2 line, which are those $500 guns that, you know, do everything very well. Um, like you were saying, the, the long range guns are, you know, we've got a couple of chassis guns set up for like PRS type competition to long range hunting stuff. And the lightweight guns has been the, the bigger, you know, market for us the last number of years. We, we partnered mm -hmm. with Proof Research to do the uh, carbon fiber wrap barrel. And so our, our 110 ultralight, as we call it, is under six pounds. And it's, uh, you know, all the, all the traditional calibers, and we almost can't make enough of them. So it's a, uh, you you know, know, phenomenal. I will tell you, the folks who are listening, they know that I've been working for a year now. I've been chasing getting myself a really nice left-handed ultralight rifle for hunting these mountains out here in Idaho. And I've been looking at this one, looking at that one. They're tending to run eh, ballpark four grand, four thousand bucks mm -hmm. is what I was going to be paying. And then I, I got I'm doing all the prep, getting you on the show here, and I'm looking, I'm going, wait a minute, all one ten ultralight left hand in all of these really great calibers, two eighty Ackley and everything, and we're talking five and a half pounds, and for like sixteen hundred bucks, I'm going, what? Why am I chasing this thing? Yep, correct, and that, and you know, it goes to the left handedness again. You know, we. We try to do a lot for left-handed folks, and the ultralight was just a, you know, made, <clears throat> excuse me, made complete sense, you know, doing the left-hand ultralight because when we had it in right-hand only, folks were, not, you know, beating us down on on Facebook and on social media saying <laughs> left-hand, 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 and and you know, so of course we did it, and you know that's been tremendously popular. Um, well, you know, you, another. You, you, oh, yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Well, I was just gonna say another, you know, kind of left-hand friendly gun that we just introduced this year too was the impulse mountain hunter so the impulse is another bolt action however it's a straight pull bolt action instead of a turn bolt and mm -hmm. so we we put a proof research barrel on that so that gun comes in at like i want to say six and a half to seven pounds depending on the, the cartridge but the bolt handle is ambidextrous it can be swapped from left to right that's right. And for those who don't know, a straight pull, you literally you just pull back on the bolt. It goes just back and forth, forward, which makes it really fast. And in the hands of somebody that knows how to run, it's spectacularly fast. Yeah. And that was, you know, another, you know, one of these other savage innovations that we came out with uh, just a few years ago. And and it was well received and you know everyone wanted well what's the next thing you know how do we make it a little lighter so the the proof research barrel was that so we launched that um about two months ago here and around when hornady launched their seven millimeter prc so that was the first introduction for us uh for that impulse mountain hunter and with the lightweight barrel tell me about the seven prc you were one of the first companies to to chamber that and it's really starting to get some traction. And I'm, you know, I'm a fan of the 280 Ackley. And yet I look at the 7 PRC and people I know who really know their stuff. They say, you know, you really ought to look at that cartridge. Yeah. So the 7 PRC kind of fits that right in that, you know, 280 Ackley, 7 Rem Mag, uh, 28 Nosler um, ballpark. You get a little bit more than the, the 280 Ackley because uh, it is a it is a Magnum uh, mm -hmm. cartridge. However, it it it's it's a 300 Win Mag. Like if so, a lot of folks, if you had a 300 Win Mag rifle, you could simply rebarrel to seven uh, seven PRC and you could you know, go at it. The right. seven PRC just gets you a you know a little bit lighter bullet than the, the 300s, but because of that, you're getting that extra flat shooting at distance. So you know Hornady really did their homework when they came out with that, and that's why you know one of the reasons we you know got on board right quick and do the impulse mountain hunter we've got a bunch in our 110 line the ultralights will have that cartridge it it really looks like it's going to be a, a really awesome cartridge going forward well it's got the faster twist rate the other thing i was talking with ryan kleckner uh, of course who teaches long range shooting you know experienced uh, veteran sniper he said look he said the thing you need to understand about the prc cartridge lineup is that the specs on the chambers and everything is match grade as opposed to say the old seven mag, which they, you kind of had to make them sloppy because they didn't know what the ammo was going to be and everything else. Mm -hmm. Everything is just better, and it's easier to make a rifle that shoots better and shoots more accurately with it. 
yeah, it, it's really, you know, it goes to just modern manufacturing and design techniques. Um, before we before we launched it, uh, we had some of these guns out in the Impulse Mountain Hunter. We had them out in Oregon with uh, Leupold, I want to say, and some of their trainers were shooting them, and they were saying these were quarter minute guns at distance. Holy cow! Holy so, cow! And we actually had a hard time trying to get these guns back from them because they didn't want to let them go. <laughs> they they wanted to keep them, you know, and use them for you know their their matches and and personal. I'm sorry, all your rifles got lost. We can't find them now. <laughs> yeah, we're like, well, these are the only ones that exist, so we need them back for now. We, we really need, need these back, guys. <laughs> yep. but. Oh, God, that, that's terrific. So where are Savage Guns made? So all our centerfire rifles, uh, everything centerfire right now, we, we do in Westfield, Massachusetts. Okay. Uh, that's our, our headquarters. Uh, we machine and assemble here. Uh, our, our Some of our rimfire <clears throat> rifles are made up in Canada. Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously, it's at a facility that we own, uh, so we just we partnered with them years ago, and you know they make this rim fire for us because that's what they're good at. We make all the center fire here. Okay, good deal. And the 1911s, Westfield, Mass. Okay, making those 1911s, some good old American uh, pistol being made in America. I love that. Yes, sir. Savage, you guys have just completely reinvented this company over the last two decades. Yeah, and, and really, that, that's just it. From about the early 2000s or so, uh, the, the management group at that point made a determination, we need to do better, and that's what's continued ever since. And our current, current, owners, <clears throat> excuse me, the current ownership group has the same mentality and just says, whatever we need, just do it. That's terrific. Yeah, and going out and reaching out and finding chassis mounts uh, and also uh, proof research barrels. It's like, what do we need to do? Let's put it together and make it happen. And, I mean, we can, we can all see what's going on there. I can only wait to see what's coming next. <laughs> there, There's a lot on the drawing board, so stay tuned. <laughs> Sounds good. RJ, thank you so much for your time here. I really appreciate it. And, you know, I know there's there's more we could have covered, but, you know, there's only so much time, and, you know, we're all headed for Las Vegas now. Yep, I'm, I'm on a plane in two days, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll see everyone out there. There you go. We'll see you out there. Thank you so much, and I appreciate it. And best to all the folks over at Savage. Yep, thank you very much, Tom. All right, you take care. Yeah, uh, savagearms.com, if you want to go see. it's um, If you haven't looked at Savage for some time, you're going to be surprised. Uh, I mean, come on, 1911s, uh, $1,500 category, so they're really nice guns. Carry pistols, micro compacts, shotguns, and then, of course, the incredible line of uh, rifles they have, both right and left-handed.